Good morning, good afternoon, people. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are at. Good morning, good afternoon. Everybody tap in, tap in. I, I, I'm so sick of people blaming President Trump for everything. This is absolutely crazy. Everybody tap in. Good morning, good afternoon. I'm going to get started here in a moment. I have a flight to catch in a minute, so I'm going to be really short. It, this is absolutely ridiculous what is going on right now. America is going downhill. This country is not doing well because we have a very weak leader. Oh, well, he's not even a leader. He's not even a leader. Everybody tune in. Everybody come on in. Come on in. Come on in. I'm going to be really short because um, I have a fight to catch in a minute. So... I am sick and tired of people blaming President Trump for what happened in Afghanistan. If you voted for Joe Biden, shut your mouth. If you voted for Joe, shut up. Shut, just shut up. Because we warned you about Joe. We warned you. We told you this man was not a true leader. We told you this man would, would not do a good job. We told y'all. Y'all saw this man. He didn't. This man is weak. Y'all, this man could barely get around. He could barely move around. He could barely put together a sentence. And y'all still got out there and support, and y'all still voted for this man? And y'all still were against Trump knowing good and well Trump was the best, the best choice for this country. Y'all knew that. But y'all wanted Joe because y'all thought Joe could fix everything. Well, Joe lied to you. Joe is not fixing anything. Y'all were so mad because all Trump making mean tweets. Well, guess what? I prefer mean tweets than to have Joe Biden in office. A man who don't have a clue. Don't have a clue what to do other countries are laughing at us they are laughing at us when joe biden took listen when joe biden stepped in stepped in the white house other countries started laughing they were giggling other countries took us for a joke the day joe biden stepped in that oval office other countries took us for a joke because I'm telling you right now, if Trump was still in office, I guarantee you, I guarantee you these other countries would not take us for a joke because they know president Trump don't play. They know he's not with the bull crap. They know he, he is not a, a, a going to allow them to run us over. This is exactly why we wanted him. This was not about him being a Republican. No. This was not about him being a, 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 a celebrity back in the day. That's not why we wanted Trump. No, we wanted him because we knew he is the only, we knew he was the only one that could stand up to these other people in these other countries, to these other leaders, these, these other, these, these bullies. But no, y'all were so, no, you listen to CNN, you listen to MSNBC, you let those people lie to you, you let those people tell you Joe was the best thing ever. Now look at us now, America is not doing good, people in Afghanistan, I mean it's chaos over there. We still had people over there. Now we got to send our soldiers back. That's some bull crap. But you know what? This is not over. These other leaders in these other countries, they are going to continue to test Joe because they see that he is a weak man. They see that this man does not have a clue, does not have a clue what's going on. 
They would not test President Trump like this. Oh, no. Oh, no, they would not do that. Because they were aware that Trump did not play games. They were aware that President Trump was not going to allow this country to be embarrassed on the national stage. But guess what? Joe Biden is allowing this country to be embarrassed on the national stage. He is embarrassing this country. 9-11 is weeks away. And look at what's going on right now. Look at what's going on. Joe Biden cannot put together a sentence. So how do you expect this man to put together a, a, a foreign strategy? America is going downhill. Gas prices are high. I mean, oh, I can go on and on and on. But y'all know. But if you voted for Joe, shut up because this is what you wanted. We told y'all. We told y'all. You wanted him? This is what you got. This man must be impeached, but we can't impeach him without impeaching Kamala Harris and Nancy Pelosi. The whole entire administration needs to be impeached. People, I have a flight to catch, so I want to go on and on, but I can't right now. I will go live later on. Joe Biden is supposed to address the nation. You know, he was, you know, hiding all weekend in at Camp David with or whatever, but he's supposed to address the nation uh, at 3 p.m. So uh, Eastern time, but I'm going to be on a flight until 5 p.m. I will go back. I will be back on here again so I can go into more detail about this crap. Y'all have a great day.